What is up guys and welcome back. For those of you that are new to the channel, thank you for subscribing. Today we're gonna be wrapping up the final round of transformation on the WRX, so let's go ahead and jump into it. So today we're gonna be going ahead and installing the coilovers from KW. I went with the Variant 3s and I just wanna give a big shout out and thank you to KW because they made this possible and helped me get these coilovers. So very excited on this, super stoked to get them on. Um, we're also doing a roll center kit and bump steer from White Line uh, just to assist with the geometry of the lowered ride height of the car. Um, so we're at Hunter's shop today, gonna get a little bit of help there. So we're gonna go ahead and get into installing these right now. All right, so we've got the car all jacked up already. So that means we're gonna go ahead and jump into breaking down the old setup. So that just means removing two bolts right here, removing the brake line itself from uh, the strut, and then we're gonna go ahead and hop up to the top, unbolt up there, and then get it removed from the housing. Alright, so we've pulled the old setup and taken the stock top hats and go ahead and put those on the new ones and so far I'm super impressed with the quality. Uh, I'm looking very forward to getting these on and checking out how the actual ride quality that itself is. So I'm going to go ahead and slide this on in. All right, so while Lewis finishes up putting those coilovers on the back before we do any adjusting, I'm gonna start working on the white line pieces. So this is the anti-roll kit. And what this does is when you lower your car down, because you're lowering it, the control arms, which are usually at an angle, are being moved up to where they're flat. So anytime the car goes up or down and those are changing, it's gonna mess with the geometry of your suspension. So what these are doing is this piece is actually a little bit taller than the stock piece. So pushing those controllers back down uh, and fixing that geometry. So once we get everything all set back up, um, we get to go on these and then we're going to finish adjusting the coilovers. Um, I already did the other side so I know it's kind of a bitch. There's some cotter pins that go on each of the ends here. And if you've ever dealt with cotter pins, they're a real pain. Uh, so hopefully those aren't too bad on this side, but let's get to it. All right, so we've gotten all the coilovers on now. We're gonna go ahead and adjust uh, for the height uh, on all four of them, get them set to where I think we're gonna want them, uh, and then we're gonna get the wheels on, test fit, and see how it looks. Alright, so all the coilovers are on, everything is finally bolted back on where we want it. Um, we have adjusted to approximately where we're hoping uh, my ideal ride height is going to be. So we're going to go ahead and throw on the wheels, test fit it, drop her down, and see if it's the fitment we want, and then go from there. So let's get those wheels on real quick. So we ended up bringing the car home to do a few final adjustments here in the garage because it was getting late. We didn't want to keep Hunter waiting around any longer than we already had. It's like midnight right now, so this has taken way longer than we thought it would, but the car looks absolutely sick. Like I cannot tell you how good the car looks. It all it looked good before, but we just closed that wheel gap a little bit with the coilovers and it looks unreal. I'm not gonna show you guys quite yet because I wanna go out to a spot tomorrow and film after Lewis gets his alignment done in the morning and do a uh, reveal the car right. So we're gonna make that happen tomorrow, and we'll see you guys then. All right, so I met up with Lewis. He got everything all dialed in this morning. He got an alignment done, got the fenders rolled in the front. The backs were already done, but the car is dialed. It is ready to go, and it looks so sick. I can't even tell you guys. I cannot wait to drop some heat on you and show you the reveal here. But before we do that, I just wanna hear a little bit more from Lewis what he was thinking with these coilovers. So, what was the goal here? So, I wasn't trying to absolutely slam it. You know, I want to protect my pipes underneath. They don't want me scraping everywhere I go. It's, if you're familiar with Seattle, it's quite hilly. I drive in downtown a lot, so I didn't want to be scraping everywhere I went uh, without having the flexibility of bags, you know, be raised and lower. So, I was just aiming just to go just a little bit below or just at the top of the wheel. Sorry, guys, you don't get to see it yet. Um, but uh, I guess we're going to hold on them. But the uh, goal is to get a little bit of rake in the front as well. Um, just uh, I like that look. 
Um, but I just wanted something that looked mean, really tidy, and it is just an absolute beast through the corners. I'm in love with the coilovers. KW, thank you again. This has just been a dream come true for me to get this done. So I'm really excited for you guys to be able to see it. So with that, I don't think they're ready. Do you think they're ready to see this? I don't think they're ready for this heat yet. We're about to drop some heat on you guys. You're not ready. I hope you enjoy this edit. because she is just looking so damn good. If you guys like this video, please hit that subscribe button. Help us to get to a thousand. Smash the like button on the video, and we'll see you guys next time.